You know, whenever I drop off a bus guest and I'm by myself, it's almost like I have PTSD <laughs> for the next day or so. I've just been hanging out with the bus in this here spot next to that tree for a little under two days. The first day I was, you know, I woke up in uh, Las Cruces. I said to myself, you know, let's just, I'm tired, let's rest. And then I, that same day I got here and then I rested again. And then I said, well, at least I'll edit some videos. That never happened. Well, the next day I'll edit videos. That was yesterday. That didn't happen. <laughs> so I just went hanging out, kind of recouping and figuring out my next plan. Today is the uh, 30th of uh, December. It's uh, day before New Year's Eve, and uh, I figured that we're going to hit something kind of quirky on the side of the road. We're going to have to backtrack, though, towards uh, Deming. Uh, ooh, they do have a good taco place in Deming, too. Hmm. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm still trying to, it's, everything's kind of up in the air. <laughs> but I think I, I got a good place to go. So this is a little strange. The GPS is taking me down this road and it almost looks as if it is private property, but it is not. I just noticed the, uh, the county road sign right there. It looks like we're in good shape. By the way, that's a huge dairy over there. Speaking of dairies, if you guys didn't know this, I hosted a... Jeez Louise, it is noisy in here on this dirt road. I hosted a web series for the dairy industry and it's called Acres and Avenues. If you guys want to search for it, if you're curious, you can go see me being like a TV host kind of guy, not a vlogger. Uh, and that's actually how I kind of funded this whole trip along with uh, bartending. And by the way, if you come out here, it's a really bumpy road. So make sure to go slow. This road's not too good out here. Right here it's all right. Back there's uh, a little bit less good, but I'm out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, because I got stuck in Joshua Tree, it's just made me a little nervous to, um, to go down these uh, questionable roads here, because I have another two miles. And anything could happen in two miles. So I think we'll just turn around and head towards a... Ah, man, I didn't want to do that, but... You know, that's just the... the opportunity cost here. <laughs> right? This is the choice of the day. Like, I really want to get out there, but at the same time, getting stuck out here because I'm so heavy is not really my idea of a good day today. Even though it might be inter inter entertaining for you guys, but uh, yeah, not really, definitely don't, don't want to do that, so. All right, well, shoot. Guess we'll turn around. Oh, and if I uh, didn't mention already, the place I was gonna head to is called uh, Cabinet Landia. And uh, if you have a, like, I don't know, SUV or car that's not too heavy, you could probably make it out there, just not when it's raining. <laughs> about you but I've only seen a couple of rattlesnakes in my life and the reason for today's visit is to see much more many more rattlesnakes because apparently they have a ton of them inside here 
And by the way, this is a free museum. So I was mistaken, uh, there is an entrance fee, seven bucks or five if you are a senior. Um, but this is a massive, massive s selection display of rattlesnakes here. I think this entire wall is rattlesnakes. There's two little cute ones right there. There's a little one right there. Here's another one right there under the little branch, little log. Here's another one coiled up. Let's see if we can focus, there we go. With another one right there. There's one sitting on the rock. Um, okay, that's a king snake. Here's an Arizona black rattlesnake. That thing looks pretty gnarly. Wouldn't want to come across him on a dark evening. There's one in the corner there. There's another one under the rock. There is one more. Oh, right in front of me, right here. Interesting. There's another one right here. <laughs> I'm losing count of all these snakes. There's another one down there in the corner. And then, actually that's a rat snake. Here's the last rattlesnake on this corner. Where is he hiding? Oh, he's right there in between the rocks. And then on this side, there is a blacktail rattlesnake. And um, yeah, it's very impressive. It's a very large collection of snakes. Um, you know, normally I don't go into paid museums, it's just not part of my budget, but since I just learned that these things can be deadly uh, the other day, actually I think from Claire Bear, I'm going to pop in and see. But also, I misunderstood that this is a free uh, museum, because uh, normally I don't pay um, to go to museums. But um, yeah, it is pretty interesting. And if you are in the area, and you are into snakes, or reptiles, or I don't know, you're just curious what they want to look like, or what they look like, I should say, and then swing on by. All right, just a few miles down the road, there is a some kind of monument for the Surrender of Geronimo, the last Apache chieftain. Um, I'm not sure I agree with the language of this. Indian warfare. Uh, we did actually commit genocide against them and we stole all their land, so... Depends what side of history you choose to read. That is completely up to you. But, um, yeah, it is pretty quiet out here. I am now on the uh, Arizona side heading towards uh, the U.S.-Mexico border and what do we have here? Was this a gift from God? <laughs> you know I haven't had baby food in a while and it's organic. Um, well, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna take this inside Dan the Adventure Bus. Maybe have a little uh, healthy meal tonight. <laughs> Look at that top sirloin steak. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yum, yum, yum. As you guys can see, that is not a bag of uh, vegetables. It's not any lentils. It's not a canned lentils. That right there is a top sirloin steak. Cooked it on the uh, little thing here. This is only like the, I don't know, fourth meat meal I've cooked in here besides like sandwiches. I was just feeling a little weak, little, I don't know, kind of out of it. My fingernails have like those little white spots so I need more calcium and uh, I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job with the uh, veggies and lentils and all that healthy stuff. Um, right now I'm parked outside of a town called Bisbee. Not sure if I'm going to hit it tomorrow. I hit it once before about a year ago. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to sort out my next move, where I'm going to go. I know I'll be passing through Tucson, Phoenix, and then over to the, uh, events over by the Colorado River. So, I know your guys' time is valuable. I appreciate you spending it with me. I will catch you guys, uh, in tomorrow's video.